Hello again everyone, it's Vince Fowler from TradingWinds.com and this is our update for November 15th, 2017. Let's take a quick look at today's markets. We did see more selling today and it was a little more serious today on higher than average volume. If you look at the Dow, it was down 138 points while the S&P gave up 14. The Nasdaq was down 31 and the Russell uh, was down 7 points. Now there were some small pockets uh, that moved higher uh, banking sector was one. If you look at the likes of Citigroup, nice rally after being lower earlier in the session. Here's Bank of America, nice strong rally. Even the likes of JP Morgan, uh, Goldman Sachs, all moving higher. So there were some pockets of, of uh, stocks that moved higher. TLT also rallied. Uh, the 20 year Treasury bond ETF up a buck 36. While gold, crude, and the dollar all moving lower, here's here's gold, uh, crude moving slightly lower, and the dollar, let's have a look at the dollar index chart here, also in giving, uh, giving up, but rallying nicely uh, in, into the close. Now, whether you are a swing trader, a day trader, a long-term investor, it doesn't matter if you're trading in any way. A uh, couple of tools that will help you not only find those precise entry points, but also help you select your sell targets are the Fibonacci's. And, and I'm referring to the Fibonacci retracement tool as well as the extension tool. If you look here at the USD CAD pair, after moving substantially lower here, we saw price get back above that moving average. And then once that, that moving average gained momentum or gained slope, uh, in the upward direction here. We saw it pull back into that moving average, giving us a nice reversal signal here. Now, um, and, and, and since then it bounced strongly and now has pulled back again and given us a similar reversal signal. Now, how do we confirm that this here now is a good time to, to buy in? Well, we can look back, we can look to our left here to see if there's any support there. But another way to judge that is to take our Fibonacci retracement tool, uh, look back, find the most recent low and the most recent high. And I'll zoom in here. There, so you can see it better. And as you can see, price pulled right back into that 50% area. Now, anywhere in this zone between 38.2 and 61.8 means that is a strong area of support. And when you get price coming into it and bouncing out of there, that is a great time to buy. Not only has it told you that, that you know, it found support here and is bouncing and, and this retracement is over, but even if you buy in here and then it turns on you quickly and comes back, what's going to happen? It's going to run right back into support. So um, it, it, this is great. Now, in addition to that, we can use the extension tool, and I'm first going to clear off these drawings. Take the Fib extension tool, use the same low and the same high. And what this is going to do is tell us where future uh, overhead resistance is going to be. In other words, great areas for targets to sell. And for the USD CAD pair, next sell target would be back at this 100% level, the 129.16. Beyond that, 130.45 and beyond that, 132. So two very, very handy tools, Fib Retracement and Fib Extension Tool. Both of those should, should be in your, your tool bag as a trader. All right, that's about it for now. Enjoy the rest of your day and we will see you on our next update.